So what's going on guys, DIY Dan here again, and in this video I'm actually making some racks for my kayaks to be stored in my enclosed trailer instead of being all over the floor. Now, this is also the trailer I use for my razor, and I didn't want brackets hanging up in there all the time, so I made them kind of a quick release so I can take them out when we're not kayaking. So my rule of thumb is if it's a pain in the ass, you're not going to do it as much, and that is why we built these brackets, because this is what it looked like before. And now this is what it looks like after. So you still have a walkway and you can get to everything. You're not tripping over everything while you're trying to put stuff in the trailer. This same rule applies to why we went from using an open trailer to an enclosed trailer when we go kayaking. With the open trailer, you got to worry about strapping everything down and then making sure nothing blows away in the wind. With the enclosed trailer, you just throw it in there and go. So I'm going to show you what materials I used and how I made these brackets. So let's get to it. Now I did have to do a small amount of welding for these brackets, but you might see this and think of something else that you could use or build to accomplish the same thing. I was looking for a while and then I saw this material and I just decided to build it. So all of the material I got for this, I pretty much got at Home Depot. This is the two inch C channel I got. And I had some three and a half inch flat bar laying around the house. However, you can get three inch wide by an eighth inch thick flat bar as well at Home Depot. Then I ended up getting some one inch by quarter inch thick by 48 inch long flat bar for the piece that's gonna slide inside the channel. The one inch flat bar, I got an extra foot. That gave me an extra three inches on each bracket to anchor my wood to. So I did have to do a little welding to make these brackets. And what this is, is that little piece of channel I got from Home Depot. Then I got some three and a half inch wide flat bar. And I tack welded it to my small channel. And then all I did was fill the bottom here between the channel and the flat bar with some small pieces of scrap. And welded that all in. The reason I did that is I didn't want the weight being held here. I wanted it to bottom out on the flat bar inside the channel and hold the weight that way. I just found some little pieces of scrap that would fit in there and then welded them in. The kayak racks that I got, I got off of Amazon because it was easier to just buy them for this price than try and make them. So this was my first attempt at making the brackets, but I used half inch plywood and it didn't end up being strong enough. So I'm just kind of showing you the first attempt at this. And then I rebuilt them out of two by threes which ended up having no problem holding the weight and were a lot more stable. So the first thing after building those brackets is I drilled the holes so I could anchor them to the steel. Then I pre-drilled the holes into the trailer and used tech screws to hold them in. I didn't anchor the bottom yet because I wanted to make sure everything was going to work. Now the flat stock that slides in the bracket, I made about three inches taller than the bracket. So I had something to anchor my two by threes to. So right here I'm just marking my flat bar so I know where I can anchor my 2x3 to. Then I drilled the holes where I was going to mount my screws. Then using a half inch bit, I pre-drilled it to countersink the hole so the screw would be flush with the steel. I needed a thin shim for the bracket so I just used this PVC board that I had. Then I drilled through it. Then using a couple screws I anchored the flat bar and the shim to my 2x3. So one of my brackets I had to cut so it fit over the wheel well and then I anchored my kayak brackets so it was basically laying on the wheel well because I needed as much room as possible to the top of the trailer so I could fit both kayaks. I anchored the one over the wheel well first because I knew that's the height that one needed to be at. Then using a tape measure, I measured how high off the floor that one was and measured the second bracket so I could make it the same height. Then I set a kayak in the bottom bracket so I could see how much room I needed before mounting the other brackets and anchored those in as well. So we actually went kayaking and I didn't have these bungee corded or anything and the top one did kind of fall off. So when we got back I decided to get some eye bolts and I just drilled the hole and anchored the eye bolts in. I did one in the center between the two kayaks, one above and one below. Then I was able to just take some bungees to hold the kayaks so that shouldn't happen again. I also took some other pieces of wood and anchored them to the bottom to give more of a flat surface on the floor and the wheel well because I don't want to have to secure them on the bottom. Then I found some pieces of plywood that were the right width 
and put them between the trailer and the bracket and secured those with some screws as well. So on the passenger side wheel well, I also have a battery for my light that's in this trailer. So I didn't have as much height. So I decided to hang my paddles above the one kayak on that side. In order to do that, I just grabbed some brackets from Lowe's and anchored them to the two x three as well. So here's one more look at the final product guys. I stored my bungees that are the right length on the bracket as well. And here's a shot of them out with my razor in so you can see how much it's out of the way. So this is kind of off subject, but I do have a new boxer puppy. His name is Dozer. And right now I'm just practicing him on the paddleboard in the pool so he can get used to it. The wife demanded he had a life jacket and it is a little big, but we did get him one. And it's actually a good thing we did because the first trip we took him out, we both went over and those handles on top of the life jacket made it really easy for me to bring him back up on the paddleboard. So it was a good idea that we got it. Hope you guys enjoyed this video and it gave you some good ideas. If so, hit like and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. As always, I try to give the most information in the least amount of time as possible. So I don't waste your guys' time. And hope I see you next time. Have a good one. Later.